Hello, this is Geotech Land, and today I'll be playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the latest semi version 1.12.0D here. And this video is going to be not just gameplay, but just a general update on the state of Breath of the Wild on semi emulator here. And of course, with this AMD graphics card, my RX 580. The performance has still been stuck on about 20-ish frames per second during like just regular game gameplay you could say. I know sometimes in dungeons it goes a bit higher um, but otherwise outside it stays around 20 FPS. Right now I have the CPU set to here. Let me just load this got froze for a moment there but it's that triple core um, I actually I'm not using any graphics packs at this time you can see it's all zero and that's just because people were saying hey you know maybe you're getting poor FPS because you need to remove graphics packs but nope that didn't do uh, anything there so I'm playing it this game here without any graphics packs enabled um, and yeah, as you guys can see it's generally getting to a max of 20 FPS um, these are the rest of my specs if you're curious set to low and alright you can see fence skip is enabled but I did want to talk to you guys a little bit more about why the performance hasn't really changed and the consensus among um, semi users with the same specs as me or really with a name D GPU is that since semi is running on OpenGL and AMD has poor OpenGL drivers it's pretty much what's causing this uh, frames per second to be stuck at 20 FPS here. Um, I've seen some people say that they're using a Ryzen CPU with NVIDIA and their performance is a lot better. So it's really the AMD GPU and its drivers. And what that means for the future is that SEMU is going to start working on the Vulkan API version of the emulator and that's going to make it a lot better for AMD users here so again if you're thinking about buying a GPU and the number one thing you want to do is play SEMU especially play SEMU or play Breath of the Wild with SEMU I wouldn't rec recommend an AMD graphics card I would definitely recommend NVIDIA but if you don't mind playing other classic games with the emulator like Dolphin emulator that c plays with Vulkan and plays nicely same thing with the RPCS3 emulator for PS3 games that works perfectly fine um, well actually RPCS3 does suffer a little bit with AMD compared to Nvidia um, but it is Vulkan so I don't think it should be too bad for too long um, but yeah, er, pretty much every other emulator, PS2 emulators, they run well with AMD. The reason why I got an AMD card was that I don't, I don't mind playing the current uh, emulators that do work well with AMD. And so I was like, alright, maybe in a couple of years, maybe a year or two, Vulkan will be a lot more popular. And then all the emulators will switch to it and AMD will eventually be running these games just fine and meanwhile I can enjoy pretty much everything else with this GPU so I'm, I'm betting big on Vulcan or on Vulcan I should say and so you're not really gonna see too many videos of me um, with this performance maybe I'll I'll tweet it out or make a post on my social media accounts 
because I'm still going to be testing this game with every version but I just won't be publishing every version maybe once every couple of months until I hear that performance has improved here with this uh, GPU I'm still going to be playing other games with Semu. I want to try new games that I haven't tried before just so you guys can see how every other game is running this um, but other than that guys don't have much else to show you um, if you guys liked the video and found it helpful please give it a like share on your social media don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time